Hold up. All right, welcome everybody for our second ever new, <laughs> new Numi team team call. We've got some people trying to get in. Something happened with Zoom. Jerry Shaw, I really appreciate your time getting on this. This is going to be a regular, consistent call we're going to have right before the uh, corporate uh, members update. And Michelle, if you could turn off your um, audio. Um, so we're trying to get Bob Steele in. We're having a little technical difficulty, but we want to get this rolling because Jerry has a very important date with his wife, Annie, out there in Oklahoma. I know he's <laughs> cooking up, smelling that curry cooking right now. I I'm smelling it. It smells good. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jerry, guys, we've been friends. Same with Bob that's trying to get on for over, you know, over 20 years. We had great success. And I'm excited because I, I was living in Atlantic City, near Atlantic City at the time. And I'm going back there this month to see my girls, my why. They were, I think, seven and nine at the time. And now they're 28 and 30. So this new me business has really provided me a chance to travel like that again, um, you know, and do it. And also we have an adult girls. They like nice dinners too, but I don't cook. <laughs> We're going to go see a nice uh, concert on Billy Striggs too. He's a new Nashville guitar guitarist. But anyways, I'm, di I'm uh, digressing here because it's just so fun to just hang out with you. I love this. We got Bob Spiro on the line too. We've got Michelle Moore and we've got several other people and uh, somebody's audio is on that needs to mute. How do I do that? Uh, All right, Michelle. Mute your call. Oh, no, I'm mute. I don't know how to mute them, Jerry. I can mute yeah, under the, the list got, of people. Right, I got to mute. I got at it. At the bottom. Okay, I got it. I got to the side there. All right, now we're in charge. Well, Jerry, I know uh, we're taking up too much time. Tell us why, what is it about Numi that, you know, got you so interested and, and, and you know, you, you've had some great success here. You're pushing for crown. Which is five hundred thousand points in your group. That's pretty amazing, and it's point for point, dollar for dollar. So go ahead, Jerry. I'm turning it over to you. Okay, Chris. We yeah, gotta, we got to mute that four eight zero number though. Yeah, there it goes. I think whoever's on four eight zero nine nine one five nine nine zero, please mute. I'll just boot him. <laughs> well, there's no. no mute, okay. but... There it is. Uh, there it is. I got. It. Sorry about that. I think that's right. Tori. Hi, Tori. All right, go ahead, Jerry. All right. Well, Chris, I'm, I'm really happy to be here. We do go back a long ways. And I remember the very first time I met you, you came to a meeting I was doing, and it was for a company that had a kind of a sketchy owner, <laughs> and you kind of helped scare me off of it. So I appreciate that, man. You saved me some time and trouble. <laughs> so we're, <laughs> we're, we're in an industry that you do have to be careful. And uh, you know, I've learned a lot of hard lessons along the way. But I tell you what, when uh, I'd heard of Stephen Scott back in 2006, because he was with uh, Max International, and I had some friends of mine that wanted to recruit me there. And I looked at his accolades, and there was a list of things that he had done in, in his life. And I was like, wow, blown away. And I saw somebody that had super high integrity. And if I wasn't doing really well at the time because I was with a company that that Chris and I worked together and, and we did extremely well I would have taken a good serious look at Max because Stephen Scott was connected with it well when I heard that he was a part of a new company and then I found out it was a breakthrough in glutathione application so that you could deliver it and it could be utilized much more efficiently all the light bulbs went off because back in 1985, I'd graduated from uh, chiropractic school in 1980. So I'd already been in practice you know, five years. And uh, I had, I'd known about glutathione from school, from physiology. There in guidance physiology, it explains that it's an endogenous antioxidant along with catalase and superoxide dismutase. But glutathione was the main one. That's all I knew. But in 1985, I saw a study, and it, it was a time when we were finding a lot of liver complications in people. And I tell you, it hasn't got any better, <clears throat> way worse today than it was in 1985, exponentially. The reason is the liver overworks because of toxins and toxicity, and the air, food, and water, and all of this it doesn't, it's not like it's the same every year, all of these 
assaults on our body, all of these toxins, they tend to concentrate in the environment. So once industry starts using a particular substance, it will concentrate as it you know, goes into the air and it gets into the soils and then it gets into the food and then it gets washed into the ocean and then the whole cycle starts again and every time it concentrates a little more. So we de we're dealing with higher levels of toxins today than we were in 1985. And yet back then we were finding people that had compromised livers consistently and compromised gut and the gut and liver go together. And between those two, you can go, I would say 90% of the conditions we deal with in the world today from cardiovascular to metabolic disorders like diabetes, uh, various cancers, autoimmune diseases, other inflammatory diseases, uh, arthritis, et cetera. You can track it back to liver and gut. And the reason is that the gut is the interface uh, where our body uh, absorbs the food or, or, and or gets rid of things. But the gut can become leaky when too many toxins and too many things have, have damaged the walls. Now you end up with all these things in the blood, these macro molecules, where they end up? The liver. The liver has to filter them out and break them down. And uh, in many cases, the second line of defense, first line is the barrier, that would be the gut in that case, or the skin. But the gut in that case, Barriers, first line, second line is the macrophages. Those are the things that gobble up all of those uh, things that are in our blood, whether they're bacteria, viruses, or just big chunks of undigested food. Those end up in the liver as well, called antigen antibody complexes. So the liver overworks. And anytime the liver is overworking, it starts stressing out. It has, back then we used to say 300 known functions medically, but we found a lot more in the past 40 years. Now we know 500 known functions and it's everything to do with the blood. It's not only getting the sugars right because it helps to store the sugar as, as glycogen. And then when you need more sugar, it breaks it down into glucose. So it's, it's a modulator of sugar. It gets lipids right. You know, you, you go in and get your blood tests and you have the triglycerides or the HDLs and the LDLs and all of these things and some might be out of balance. That's the liver's job. <clears throat> or uh, they say you got to be on a, a blood thinner because the viscosity is wrong. It's the liver's job to get the viscosity right, the clotting factors and the proper viscosity. It's the liver's job to get the precursors for things like hormones and enzymes and metabolic factors and, and immune factors. All of those macrophages that are gobbling things up, those start in the liver. In addition to the uh, even T cells, B cells, all of those precursors, it's the liver that sets the stage for all of these things. So you really want your liver working well. Plus, you look around today, even in 1985, but it's gotten worse. People tend to carry extra pounds. And the reason, especially around the belly, the reason people carry extra pounds and no matter how they diet, can they, they can't get it off, is the fact that Toxins are stored in the cells. And anytime the liver is unable to process those toxins, break them down and get rid of them, then signaling molecules are sent by the brain. We have to store. We have to store these toxins. And where do they store? Primarily, I'd say 98% stored in fat cells. So the body does not want to let go of the fat cells, reduce the fat cells. That's the storage for those toxins that is waiting to process that never happens because the liver never catches up. So the liver has a thousand times more glutathione than other cells in our bodies because it's so critical for liver function. So think about this, as the liver is stressed out because it has to process more and more toxins, et cetera. Now, as we get older, starting at age 20, you start getting less and less and less available glutathione because your body's not able to produce it as efficiently as it can when you're in your teens and stops about 20 years old and it starts reducing. So all of these factors that accumulate in our life that we have to deal with constantly, now we have less of a mechanism inside of us to help us deal with that. So in 1985, we realized how important glutathione was for the human body, 
for the liver, for every, for the gut even. So, okay, we need to get more glutathione into, into our bodies. How do we do it? And it was so difficult. There are certain foods that were like broccoli sprouts, which are very uh, temperamental. They can, they can kind of go off and smell really bad. And, you know, and that's precursor. That deals with precursors. Then there's uh, uh, cysteine. You know, you try to get cysteine because that's called the rate limiting factor. That's the one amino acid, that, the L-cysteine. Of course, there's the glutamate, glutamic acid, and, and um, glycine. That they all of those come together to form glutathione. But the one that is typically deficient is the L-cysteine. So we would supplement that. But the L-cysteine is not efficient getting through the digestive tract because it has a hydroxyl aspect that gets broken when it hits the stomach acid. You can't take glutathione. You can go to the store and you can see glutathione supplements, or you can go online and see a glutathione supplement and you take that in your mouth. Guarantee you, you might actually get 1% because the stomach is so acid, it breaks that glutathione, it breaks that hydroxyl component and it becomes useless. So uh, another thing that happens is that um, uh, anytime you break that, it may be the glycine and the, and the glutamate and, and the L-cysteine, you know, somehow make it through. The L-cysteine, not likely, but the glutamate and the glycine. Well, there are instances that too much glutamate, it's a brain inflammatory agent, that's not good, which also can happen with IV administration because they, they, they deliver a lot of from 500 to 1500 milligrams of glutathione in that intravenous session. And it's, it's a real backwards approach because it actually all breaks down in the blood and in the liver. So you end up with, with glutamate, glycine and L-cysteine, <clears throat> too much of it. So now the body's got to get rid of it. So now you're stressing the body out and yeah, you get some of it into the cell and some of it helps the, you know, in the, once it's in the cytoplasm of the cell, it gets turned into glutathione. Maybe the body still has to manufacture it. Sometimes genes are turned off that are not allowing that process to happen. There's a whole series of, of reactions that need to happen. So the beautiful thing about Numi, and once I saw this and got my head around it, the, and, and as I said, the light bulbs all went off. We deliver glutathione into the cell intact. No one else does that. Not even intravenous can do that. So now you have locked and loaded into the cell, swish in the mouth, it's nano size so small it absorbs into the blood and gets into the cells within 70 seconds. And even if the genes are turned off, because the body has glutathione now and glutathione supports cell function and starts cleaning up the genes, it can help turn on those genes. So now the L-cysteine that's delivered with the nanoglutathione, and it's also nano, so it gets into the cells. Now the body can start taking that and producing more of its own glutathione. And that process can, can, can begin to more naturally happen inside the cell and produce more of it. So it's really an interesting mechanism that we're helping the body with that instant use, the ability to get glutathione into the cell to instantly support all of those mechanisms in the cell. And yet it helps stimulate the body's own production as well and support it. So it's really a double pronged sword. And the thing about glutathione, again, supports all cells, all cells thousand times more important for the liver, but brain, gut, um, other organs, kidneys, uh, spleen, lungs, heart, all of these things require lots of glutathione. Plus it's the, it's the master uh, protector of all of our cells, the master antioxidant. Yeah. Steve Scott goes into depth on how valuable it is there. More important, more important by thousands of times than any other antioxidant. So right. we need it. Now we have access to it, and, and it's just a, it's a great thing. And I'm super happy about it. So. I'm trying to be nice to Annie because I know I'm watching. The I'm really clock. close to my. I know. I, I really appreciate. I, I appreciate Annie because I know she puts up with a lot from you. 
she so does put up with a lot, yeah. And, uh, and, and, and you're lucky to have her in your life. And you're, yeah. You know, so Thank anyhow, so, but I wanted, I wanted to uh, just say, you know, I didn't know much about glutathione. I heard about it. Like you said, we were so absorbed in the goji berry and all that. That, that but we did see Mac, you know, we did see that company do some big, you know, things around the world, you know, we were in that same kind of nutrition space. So anyhow, uh, but you know, I didn't know much about glutathione and, and you know, the one thing that really caught me was that if, if you talk about how oxygen needs glutathione to stick itself, glue itself to blood. When I heard that, I was like, wow. And then when you got it, uh, I, I got a, uh, my first bottle of it, you know, I was working five to six hours outside in the field, getting ready. I was making, mixing cement and everything. And I was going seven to eight hours and telling myself I needed to go in. I mean, I, I, was, I never had anything like that happen with a nutritional product for you. And then I wasn't taking up some salt baths in the morning. I know Bob Spiro's got a great testimonial. Michelle Moore's got a good testimonial. Um, Jerry, is there anything? We'll let you, we'll, you know, we'll let you go. Um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, because we are recording this. We do need to say we don't, what do we, you know, we don't, um, heal or mitigate uh, or any diseases, you know, we are going to record this and I don't think you uh, got out of line there, but um, so people, what you need, what's that disclaimer? That we need to say? Yeah, we don't, we don't treat, uh, heal or, or mitigate disease, but what we can say is it supports, it supports function. But um, that's just because we, we live in a world that, you know, is highly regulated and we have to be careful because yeah. they, and we don't want them get, to take it away from us. Yeah, and people, <laughs> I've never seen a product, um, I, you know, people get so missionary about it, um, right. you know, just without any kind of business aspect. I mean, we're not really touched on the business, but uh, here, but, uh, you know, I told you when I got, you know, you call me, I just want to have fun, you know, I'm, I'm not, okay. I don't have to, you know, depend on this to, to pay the mortgage, thank God, at this stage of my life unlike when you know we first met but it's just a mission of uh well the change in people's life bob steenlidge who's been struggling to get out we had tech difficulties but isn't that wonderful he's just getting nominated for west point uh alumni mm -hmm. in wrestling and i know your dad is a big wrestler and you are a wrestler so we're just so proud to be that michelle's part of uh, bob's team so is bob spiro here um, so I don't know, Jerry, you want to look over, you want to hear Bob and Michelle share their little quick story real quick. Bob, I, Bob, I, you I, promised run? I promised Annie it would be the half right, hour so, because all right, she so you're gonna come. there at six. All right, we'll let you go because you know, um, I'll, I'll try to hang on you, but, uh, so let, so, so we'll bring it back next week. If that, if that's right. a, that sounds good. Thank, right, thanks, thanks guys. Thanks. Have a nice night. We're going to do our testimony. Right, you too. All, all right. right. God bless. All Bye -bye. right. God bless you, Jerry. Thank you for sharing this with us. If it weren't for you, we wouldn't know about it. All right, so um, so Bob Spiro, let's put let's uh, actually uh, beauty before age, Michelle Moore, would you like to share your <laughs> would, you, <laughs> would you like to share your uh, testimony? I think you're muted. Uh, did I mute you? I might have muted you. No, you might need to unmute if you want to talk. I think Bob's ready to go. Okay, there's Michelle. Do you want to share your uh, okay. you know your experience with the, the the product and say hi to your group here because it's a you know, you got a great team. And, We're so proud of you. Judy and Margaret, and, and Judy, they can share too. Okay, good. And uh, so, I, see, this is why they're coming out to work on my um, on my uh, internet. Right, turn, turn your video off. That might be better. Okay. But uh, uh, at any rate, normally I'm 84. I don't take any medications. Basically, what I do keeps me from being sick, and uh, and and not having to be on medication. But in this case, a few weeks before, and Bob uh, Steenlage had introduced me to Limbic Arc, and uh, he called me and really disrupted my focus with uh, Numi. And uh, and the only reason, one of the reasons I was really willing to look at it was because just for a few weeks. All of a sudden, my knee had given me a problem. I mean, it was really painful and brought me to a standstill. And I took that when it came in the mail, I took it at four o'clock in the afternoon, took it again before um, at midnight when I went to bed. And the next morning, the pain was gone. And I just normally don't have anything wrong with me that I have a testimony. So the, I had a wonderful testimony this time. And now I'm just, the inflammation is gone. I don't have that issue. I didn't have it for 30 years. 
and I, I had a really bad uh, inflammation in my knees when I was 54 for a short period of time and got rid of it. And, and so I'm back. I mean, my knees just don't bother me at all, which is great. And, uh, but I'm noticing small things happening. I have four or five other things in my husband. He was stopped breathing and now he's not stopped breathing at night. Uh, his energy is higher. His brain is uh, much more uh, focused and clear. And um, I'm just thrilled with it. I've gotten more response from this than anything I've done for decades. Wonderful. So and back. So, yeah, and we'll see you on the One Star Trade this weekend. It's fun. Michelle and I are doing that. Um, all right. So, Bob, thank you, Michelle. Thank you so much for sharing with us. And always be, it's just such a, uh, consistent, you know, telling our people what's going on and, and uh, you got a great group going. So I'm, we're proud of you here, Michelle. I'm just middle What? Yeah, tell that, middle-aged. tell that joke. That's funny. What do you call it? I'm middle-aged and life begins at 80. So I'm just getting started and I'm going to school. And, and then you got the nano, uh, who are the nineties is the, what did, what's that joke you told us? That's right. And, and Margaret's husband is 90 and he's a nana, a genarian. And then of course at a hundred, you have centurion. So <laughs> yeah, but I'm an octogenarian. You're an octogenarian. And, All right, and Margaret is an octogenarian. Yeah. And the, and then the people that so not turned into nana, n- nano genarians, nano, nano genarians. All right, Bob Spiro. Thanks, Michelle. Bob Spiro. You're well, up, you know, I'm almost three quarters of the century old, and that'll happen this October. I'm like you, uh, Michelle, I am prescription drug free. I read a book uh, a number of decades ago called Prescription Alternatives, and I've been just following in the pursuit of health and wellness. Uh, I, I prior to oratize that in front of everything. When I first started knew me and, and taking the swish, uh, I noticed that originally uh, a mental clarity. The fog kind of went away. I was thinking clearer. I noticed that I would wake up like, you know, earlier in the morning, clear and ready to go. But what I really noticed was the endurance, the inner natural type of energy that uh, you have in youth, if you will. And uh, I like to walk and work out and, and stay active. And I just know that I'm going to get into the best shape that I've been in, in in many, many years because of diet, exercise, nutrition. Now I've got the uh, the swish and I just love taking it. I do it two or three times a day. I don't need like the afternoon nap. Uh, I left the house at 730 this morning. I've been on the road all day. I'm back home and I'm I'm raring to go. It's just an unusually pleasant experience. If if you want to be the best that you're able to, you need the the physical health, the mental clarity, and the endurance. And our bodies are consistently bombarded with the free radicals and you know with diet with the the food, the air we breathe, and you know just your environment. So. This is a great sub, substantial improvement to, to boost your immune system, which we all desperately need. And it's just a matter of educating people and sharing with them your own personal experience. And I yeah. began using the, the new me skin. I won't go into that. I had a little uh, bag on my eye. I was spraying it in, and it's gone. I'm also using it on the back of my hand. I noticed my right hand is is looking a lot younger and clearer and uh i know my my buddy sean a, a, a wrinkle in his forehead has yeah. disappeared so back to you chris i i could go on and on no, I know. I'm, I know. I'm really <laughs> passionate about this product because it yeah. can change people's lives yeah and i that's a great testimony you got a great we did another one bob i really you really hit it because it's it's, it's hard to explain that inner energy because it's not a caffeine thing it's not a this or that it's uh it's really it's like how we should feel maybe how god intended us to feel um you know it's really wonderful um i know michelle you want to have a couple other your people maybe margaret share but i wanted to share one thing just because i do want to do a little training here it's turned into a big product call because we had jerry but you know what, I wanna, what 
I wanted to know, Chris, could we go through, I don't know the other people that are on, on the phone numbers. Can you, can they tell us who they are? Um, I think I muted. They might need to unmute. I think Tori is on um, one of them, 480. Don't then, be shy. Come on out. There's a 903 number. Um, I'm up here in Bristol, Rhode Island. Maybe they, they could, could they text it? They, they're calling in, but I, maybe they can't text the chat. I'm not sure. Something just uh, came up on my screen. Uh, okay. they, they, should be able to, they should be able to just unmute and talk. I can unmute them. I think I muted unmute because they didn't know they were... I can ask them to unmute, it says, ask them. I'll, I'll have Tori ask them. All right, so why don't I just, there we go. Who's that? I think that. Go, go, go ahead, Hello. who is that? Can you call? It's the yes, Stella. You, you want to listen in? Yeah, I can't get out Zoom. It won't uh, connect for me. Okay, well, they had some issue, but do you want to? You can just listen. Okay. Okay. Who's that? Who's that, Michelle? Uh, this is Mike Hines. Mike Hines from Wyoming. Okay, sorry, Mike. Tom, we got it recorded, so we'll do that. We'll get it straightened out for next week when Jerry will be on again. So, I I want to. I'll just do a little training. As if somebody else wants to jump in, um, we'll do a we have a couple more testimonials. We do have to get off too at 545 so we can jump on the uh, member update at Numi TV. But I just want to share a couple well, of things well, to, make it, to make it easier to, to share. Um, we're learning this on our one stars. And, and, and I know Tori is going to go to a big event in Los Angeles. And, you know, we out there, we're talking about it. We can't, even if we could talk as well as Jerry about the benefits of glutathione, we don't want to. I don't want to. I know I don't. I don't want to talk to people, you know, start you know, uh, turn it into a big, long thing. But if you just say, hey, uh, uh, if I send you a video, will you watch it? Remember that, it's so easy. If I send you a video, will you watch it? Um, and then if you're talking to a doctor or someone that you know is in the wellness space and they're concerned about their health, um, by the way, do you know anything about glutathione? Why do you ask? Oh, because I'm super excited about this product. It's the results I'm having, my friends are having on. I just wondered if you knew anything about glutathione. And then listen, you know, and just really just simple. And if they say no, um, say, well, if I had a video, we, if I send you a video, would you watch it? Do you, do you like a text or an email? Uh, you know, make it pretty simple. And then, uh, and if they do know a bunch about glutathione, oh yeah, I know all about glutathione. I'm a doctor. I, I've, uh, you know, prescribed expensive IVs when people are in a health challenge. So yeah, I know a lot about glutathione. Oh, then you're going to love this. We've got a new breakthrough delivery system, sublingual, nano size 10. If I send you a video, will you watch it? You know, you keep that's it. And now Bob Spiro's done great with the app. I mean, the app, uh, you know, one of the things we're learning at the one is just uh, we're looking for as far as business builders go, are people committed? Are they teachable? And are they prepared? So to prepare people, that means they've downloaded their app. They've got, and if they're not going to use that, they've got something. They're prepared a little bit because they've been on these Zooms and other ones that, uh, you know, we're going to get on one in about four minutes here. You know, they're prepared. They're committed. They're teachable. I was going to share you. I'll send the video. Um, I was going to play it in here about the um, importance of the quarterly pack, you know, where you can order, um, you know, uh, uh, the quarterly pack for three hundred dollars, and you get paid three months running. So you save on shipping. You got a but you got extra product, so you can you know have it right on hand to to give someone or or sell it to them. You know to sample, and, and you got it rotating instead. Of just because if you don't have if there's no I mean what's the one of the oldest things we learn if there's if there's no if there's no merchandise in the wagon you know you're pretty much out of business. So I think that 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 what we learned about that quarterly pack, Michelle, and just in, and it shares that power of three. Because sometimes the power of three, to be flat out honest with you, I didn't like it because it's kind of precarious. If one person can't do their hundred and this, and the whole bunch, and then boom, it falls apart. But with the um, with the quarterly packs, it solves that issue. So that's I'm just gonna. Finish. I just want to get that out, you guys, because it's gonna make a big difference. Um, is there anyone else you want to share a last testimonial? One of the phone, the phone. Um... Margaret, do you want to share? Yeah, or Kitty. Well, I, could, I I have a couple of questions actually. Um, All right, can we hold these questions because we're recording now? And then I'll, I'll hang out. I'll, I'll turn off the recording because sometimes I don't know where these questions are going, you know, if it's about shipping or this or that, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna, let me turn off the uh, thing. We'll end it and I'll, and I'll stick around. If you guys want to jump for the um, 
I'm gonna stop. Hold on, I'm gonna stop recording here. Uh, are you sure you want to stop recording? Yes.